some awesome improvements. The customer experience here at T3, most people probably fly into Terminal 4, they use Terminal 4. In the future, a lot more people are going to be flying into Terminal 3, and it's in large part because of these great improvements that we're investing in. People who come to the desert, maybe they're visiting for the first time, so if they're able to get to the airport early and, and uh, enjoy it, they can come outside and enjoy the outdoor beauty a little bit. Maybe the most important thing in any new airport construction, you've got to have a dog park. So right here, if people bring their pets on and they want to get their pets a little bit of exercise before they jump on that plane, there's our little pet friendly uh, area. None of these ticket office areas are permanent for any one airline. It can be changed out from airline to airline. So as new airlines come into the marketplace, it can be as easy as possible. Uh, we have 31 stations uh, here. All of them are ADA accessible, every single one. And each of the airlines that do business here, well, you don't have to go to a particular one. You get your ticket here for any of the airlines that fly in and out of Terminal 3. But this will be a little bit of a way station right here where people can relax. Traveling can be a very hectic experience, sometimes a stressful experience. So obviously we're just getting a sense of it, but these comfortable chairs where you'll be able to relax, read your newspaper, pull out your phone, whatever final emails you want to put, Every single chair in Terminal 3 with the renovations will have access to power. In so many of our existing airports, you had to retrofit the uh, TSA security requirements into existing building. Now we're able to put the space so it's much more comfortable experience going through security. In the future, you will see restaurants and bars right along here. In the short run, when this opens just in a few, few weeks, there will be a, a, a coffee cart out here, uh, uh, et cetera. It's our, kind of our grand open space here, so that's another nice feature about this is that it's wide open. The lights are on now, but because the way it was designed with so much open glass and even gla uh, light bill come in, for the most part, most of the time, those lights will not be on. Uh, so it'll be huge energy savings uh, as a result of that very uh, creative design of the, uh, of the building. People don't know this about the airport, but we actually have an art collection at the airport. So the thousands and thousands of people who are arriving or departing and want to check out our airport museum gallery will be able to check it out right here. So in the not too distant future, this, this wall won't be here, we'll go to SkyTrain, but we'll kind of sneak through the uh, door here so you can see it. In total, it'll be a $600 million investment by this airport in improvements to the airport. Terminal 3, you'll, you'll think of very differently in just a few weeks.